Hello everyone, this is Ivani Higgins, head teacher at Connaught School for Girls. Today's video is to talk to you about our plans for opening in September, the wider opening of schools, and to outline our plans to invite all of the girls back in September and to give them a broad and balanced uh, educational provision, uh, which means that we're able to catch them up uh, able to continue their education and in particular for year 11 get them ready for the exam series in September. Today's video will tell you uh, the plan and together with this video will be a, a rather large bulletin which has got all the information that you need uh, and then more uh, so that you can know what we are planning at this stage. Please bear in mind, a lot of this is still draft. Uh, on the 11th of August, the government will be issuing further guidance to help us plan for the September opening. So today, what you'll see are the plans that we've got in place um, with a view to some tweaks that might be necessary as, as time goes on. I want to start firstly by thanking you. It's been very difficult for all of us, um, not least parents who have found themselves in the role of educators, uh, something that is daunting and all of us have had to work very hard to try and give the best chance uh, so that your girls don't miss out on education. And I want to thank you for your support, uh, for your uh, patience in bearing with us while we try and get uh, up to speed with a virtual school. I also want to thank you for the many messages of support that we've had, uh, in, in particular to the staff uh, who have been working very hard, giving up their holidays, bank holidays, weekends, in order to prepare um, and continue education. In September, we are inviting all of our girls back in and you will see in the second part of this presentation uh, from Mr Cross, our deputy head teacher, outlining the provision that we're putting into place, including staggered starts and finishes, uh, using different entrances and the system of controls that we are putting in place to keep both the staff and the girls safe uh, from COVID. We are continuing with our risk assessments, which are updated continually, and they will be signed off by our health and safety uh, auditors, Ellis Whittam, uh, the unions, and also the governors who have got overview and oversight to make sure that we are doing absolutely everything we can in order to keep your girls safe. From September, the girls will be invited into school and they will be in four bubbles, which Mr Cross will explain. The bubbles do not mix with each other and the idea is that they have separate educational provision um, through the school. The plan is that we put in a system of controls so that we minimise contact between individuals. Teachers, because we're a secondary school, will need to move across the bubbles and that's permissible, but the, uh, the bubbles themselves will not intermix, uh, intermingle at all. Uh, there is a thorough cleaning protocol being put into place to keep our building hygienically clean and there will be deep cleaning happening across the entire school. And we are promoting good respiratory hygiene by promoting a catch it, bin it, kill it approach uh, with lidded bins in every classroom and uh, signage telling everybody what they are supposed to be doing. And cleaning will be happening regularly with uh, detergents and bleach. We are maintaining social distancing where possible and employing the one metre plus rule um, where possible. And we are engaging with the NHS track and trace. And if there is a confirmed case, then we are using the local health protection team to advise us on um, uh, what we need to do to, uh, uh, you know, in, in, in the sad, you know, in the rare event and the unlikely event that somebody were to uh, contract coronavirus. So uh, that's all I'm going to say. Please take time to read the literature that comes out with this video and also look at the video. And um, if you do have any questions afterwards, please get in touch via the school uh, website and we will endeavour to answer them. In the meantime, uh, please stay safe, uh, stay well, and I look forward to welcoming all of the girls back in September, uh, which we are all very excited about. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Gareth Cross and I'm Deputy Head Teacher at Connaught School for Girls. 
and I'm responsible for the school curriculum and writing the school timetable that delivers that curriculum year on year. Now with COVID-19 restrictions, we need to adapt our school timetable model. The government has given us some clear advice and that's to first of all, find a compromise so we can group students to ensure that we can deliver the best education to them as we can. But we must ensure that we minimize the contact between specific groups of students and the risk of those students sharing particular facilities. And we're asked to group students in what are called bubbles that don't make contact with each other. Now, all teachers and all other staff can operate across different bubbles rather than in primary school where specific staff stay with specific children. We're a secondary school and we need to ensure that specialist staff can go and work in between different bubbles, but they'll be operating at a safe social distance. We need to revise our timetable to accommodate those bubbles and try to minimize the movement between classrooms. We've been asked to possibly stagger the start, the break times, lunch times, and the finish times. We've been asked to plan ways to minimize the contact between different student groups. For example, having separate entrances and exit gates and a one-way system. To think about lunch times, to make sure that students don't mix together and they don't share the same facilities and to plan arrangements for arrival and departure, communicate those to parents, and think about what our extracurricular offer is, and think about reducing it if we need to, to minimize the mixing between groups if that's necessary. So this is our school response. This is our what I'm calling our COVID restricted model, before we're told that we can get back to a normal timetable. We're creating four bubbles. They are year seven, year eight, year nine, and key stage four, which is years 10 and 11 combined. Now those bubbles will arrive and depart separately via different entrance and exit gates, and they'll arrive at different times and depart at different times. The arrival, break, lunch and departure times are all staggered, and we've got new timings devised for all of those activities, including break time and lunch time. Lunch times will be arranged to minimize student mixing and the risk of sharing facilities. We're going to have year seven, eight and nine taught in new tutor rooms in very, very different parts of the school. And they'll stay in those different parts of the school for all of their lessons. So they won't be mixing across the different bubbles. The key stage four bubble, however, we're determined to operate as normal a school timetable as possible so we can utilize all the specialist rooms so children in year 11 can carry on with their artwork. They've missed enough school as it is, and we need to get back them back into art rooms, back into product design rooms, back into food technology rooms, back into science laboratories to complete their required practicals. And Key Stage 4 Bubble will be operating quite normally. They'll move, be moving between lessons, but the other bubbles will not be moving. They'll be staying still. And the Key Stage 4 Bubble, they will not be going to the classrooms of the other three bubbles in year seven, eight and nine. But specialist teachers will be arriving to the rooms of year seven, eight and nine bubbles, lesson by lesson. But that does have an impact on the technology subjects and practical subjects, and they'll be operating a slightly different and amended curriculum, similar to that curriculum that the students have been receiving whilst they've not been in school. And our extracurricular offer will be restricted to our GCSE subjects. Year nine, start triple science, Year 10, some students do two languages in our, what we call our fast track programme. We have action tutoring to help ensure that our girls get good GCSE grades in English and maths. And we've got year 10 studying for biology and year 11 GCSEs in all of the subjects. And we'll have recovery programmes for all of those students who have missed so much time in school. Here's our plan. We'll put this up on the website so you can see it perhaps a little clearly or you could pause it right now to have a look at it. But you can see those four bubbles and the activities that they will go through from arriving via different gates, having tutor times at different times, having break time in green at different times, lunch time in yellow at different times, their tutor time in peach color at different times and departing at different times. 
but we'll leave that for you to look at and to, we'll put that on the website so you can see a little clearly maybe printed out but I'll give you the headlines now for each of the bubbles and when we expect our students to arrive and when you can expect them to be departing firstly the year seven bubble these will be their teaching and their tutor rooms so you can see those rooms 41, 39, 40 and 42, they are in, dis in a distinct part of the school or what we call our languages corridor on the first floor. And no other bubble of students will be going near those rooms. They, another bubble of students will not be going into those rooms and traveling through and beyond that room 38 corridor there. We will break out for math setting only and we'll need an extra room for that and that's room 38. But you can see year 11 arrival times, year 7 departure times, and the gate that they come through. Tutor time is just in the morning only. The year 8 bubble, similarly, tutor time is just in the morning only. You can see their arrival and departure times. Their rooms are on the English corridor on the first floor. 34, 5, 6 and 7. Also with the library when we need to break out into mathematics setting. And you can see the entrance gate that they need to come through. They go across the school playground and they go through the fire exit by room two and straight up the stairs to their particular bubble. And they will not come into contact with students from another bubble. Year nine will come through the, through the Connaught Road gate. You can see their arrival times and departure times there. And they're on the maths corridor. And they will be in a particular bubble in rooms one, two, three, four, and five. And our other students will not be going down those corridors to those classrooms and they'll be kept away from the other students. Now our key stage four bubble, they will have tutor time in the afternoon at 2.40 p.m. and they'll arrive at 8.35 not having tutor time but going straight to their first lesson and they'll be leaving at 5 to 3 and they'll come and go by the Dyers Hall Road gate. I've put on their tutor rooms for their afternoon tutor session and that will be their tutor room as well for the first day back. And on the first day back in September, we've got some news for you that we have an additional training day on Thursday, the 3rd of September. So our first teaching day will be on Friday, the 4th of September, but for year seven only. We're gonna have the whole day with year seven, asking them to arrive by that published time of 8.15, and they'll be finished at 20 past two, and then to arrive via the Dyers Hall Road gate. And they'll be mainly with their tutors all day, but they'll start their timetable towards the afternoon. Years eight and nine bubbles and key stage four bubbles, their first day will be Monday the 7th of September and they arrive at that published arrival time that I showed on the previous slide. So for year eight, 8.15 by the school playground and the room two fire exit staircase. Year nine to arrive at 8.20 at the Connaught Road gate, straight to the maths corridor to their tutor rooms. And the key stage four bubble there to arrive at the Dyers Hall Road gate at 8.35 on Monday the 7th of September and for the first time in the morning only just going straight to that published tutor room that I showed you before. Thank you very much for watching and listening to this video presentation. My name is Gareth Cross, I'm Deputy Head Teacher at Connaught School for Girls. You can contact me if you know my email address or by the school website on the contact tab. Thank you for watching and listening.